Hello and welcome to another DIY journey video and today um, you join me on the top floor with the staircase on show. Now the reason we're up here, um, I think it gives you the best representation of what we're working with and this video as you'll have seen from the title is all about the staircase. So originally when we first bought the house or came to look at it um, you walked through the front door downstairs obviously um, and then you were greeted with this massive oak staircase travels from the bottom all the way to the top um, and it was a big wow factor um, but it needed some work I'm no joiner no woodworker so I don't know what the rights and wrongs are really um, of stairs um, nor is <coughs> renovating the stairs as in replacing parts and option from a budgetary point of view um, so we ummed and ahed, um, and then we looked back at pictures of his old house and um, we thought to ourselves well we really like the satin paint as you've seen on the woodwork downstairs uh, in the kitchen um, but with an oak handrail so maybe we just replace the handrail or rub it down and see what it turns out like so we were planning on painting it satin white, leaving the old candrail until we were having a play the other day um, and I'll show you downstairs in a second um, and we just rubbed down the, the handle lightly and it come back to a lovely natural oak colour. Um, my view on this at the moment is, reminds me of a church, not that that's a bad thing, um, but I don't want my house to look like a church and uh, we need to do something. We, go, we are going to carpet it. I'm just trying to hunt out the same carpet as this so we can match it. Um, but yeah, we, we need to do something. So let's shoot downstairs and uh, have a look at what it's turned out like. So as we go downstairs, as you can see, it's really orange. Obviously this is gonna be carpet to get rid of that creakiness. Um, excuse the dust, it's all come up from downstairs uh, while we've been sanding, but it's just very orange. And we need to do something about it so um so yeah let's crack on back downstairs and have a look so on the bottom floor as you can see a big goal and a big driver to doing the work down here is to get it as light as we can um, naturally it's a dark room um but if you've seen in my previous videos instagram and the so on we're doing everything we can so we've widened this um to let more light through we're going to have oak glazed doors on there but we just feel oh we've also added the light there but we just feel it's really dark so there's options were to paint it white which is what we we're going for until we sanded this section down and it's come up absolutely lovely now this is really rough uh, we've not really refined it or anything just got some it was 60 grit sandpapers are quite coarse um but honestly it's come up an absolute treat what a lovely colour and then down on the newel post so that got us thinking how can we um, revive these stairs we didn't want all the work but I think we've ended up with it um, but quite cost effective so months and months ago I categorically said no glass on these stairs um, we are planning children in the future so fingerprints, blah de blah, blah, but is glass easier to clean than spindles or white spindles? So the plan of attack, as you can see there, I've removed the spindles already and there, just leaving these. I'll show you how I've removed them in the uh, next in this video. Um, so yeah, so we'll remove these. We're going to rub everything down, except the treads, maybe just a bit in corners because we're having Carpet, um, I've already done some earlier today here just to try it, took these off and um, we've come up a nice old colour again so yeah and as you can see I think spindle, it's already gone lighter by taking the spindles out so we're going to have glass, um, we're going to, I think we'll go for a natural oil maybe or, or varnish or whatever it is you use, um, if you know Comment below, excuse the uh, poetry there. 
and um, yeah, rub it down, go for the natural look, the lighter, hopefully brighten it up. And then I've been doing some research on handrails, which are obviously this bit, and then the base rails, which are these bits here and this. So as you can see with spindles, you have these little sections. I've got some here. So these that sit in there to hold them apart and you've got them in the top. Now, handrails and base rails with glass have a groove down the middle. However, for that one is about 60 pound. That one's 60 pound, that one's 60 pound and so on, all the way to the top. The base rails are cheaper at about 38 pound um, each. And the, pr the price just went astronomical. We're upwards of 600 pound plus for just the handrails and the base rails with no glass. Uh, and that's not in our budget um, to do this. So I've come up with a solution, I think. Um, we're gonna keep the existing. And what we're gonna do is you can buy 32 mil infills. So where this piece is there, that's 32 mil wide and it's pretty standard size. So what the plan is, I'm gonna buy some oak, the same oak as the stairs. I found a skirting board place that sells solid oak, um, which I believe to be the same as this. 100 mil wide, three meters long, for, well, easier to explain. For the whole stairs, it's 180 pound instead of 600 and odd. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, for the length between that new post and this new post, so it's about 1.8 meters, cut it a strip 12 mil wide. What that'll allow me to do is, put the strip in, oh, better to explain here, put the strip sort of like that, leaving an eight mil gap in the middle, and then I can put another 12 mil strip on this side, and that will hold the glass in place. Now, you're asking how many panels of glass. So, what I'm thinking, two panels there, up there, with a 50 mil gap in the middle, 25 mil at either end, one panel there, two panels there, two panels there, and then as we go upstairs there, probably two or three panels on there. We're gonna concentrate on the downstairs for now um, because we've got to decorate up there eventually um, and it's probably gonna be the next job after we've done here. Um, so just for cash flow, that sort of thing, we'll, uh, we'll concentrate on there. So down here, I estimate 300 to 400 pound with the glass. Um, I'm thinking it's gonna be eight mil toughened glass. From the prices I've seen so far, we're talking the, the range, um, and I'm gonna to go to a local company for a price. Online, they range between 60 and 90 pound per panel. So we need a few, um, but I think we'll, um, we have that solution. So I think I've missed a bit, and the bit is, what do you do when you've got the 50 mil gap in between? So you've got glass panel there, say, glass panel there, but you're gonna have a line in the middle. What I'm thinking, simple, just another eight mil strip, uh, just to sit in like they do now. And uh, yeah, so this video, uh, I'm filming this at the same time as I filmed the, um, the how much did the building work cost video. Um, so it might be a bit drawn out over a week or two or more, um, but I'll time lapse the whole process, what we do it, sanding it down and uh, yeah take you along the journey um, hopefully it'll help others in my situation that knows nothing about wood really and um, yeah we'll see how we get on a budget oak staircase renovation that may be the title and then something else we're going to do try and cut these off and uh, maybe cut them flat and put some flat tops on. Maybe just help modernize it. And then we've got obviously that one, them two and uh, one up there. So we'll just see how we get on. Um, but let me know in the comments, what do we do about that and that? 
and that. Do we paint them white, leave them, varnish them? Comment now and uh, we'll uh, see what happens. So yeah, uh, I'll get the time lapse going, get rubbing down and uh, take it from there. So first job, get rid of these. Now I've already done those uh, just as a practice. Um, before showing you on here because I wanted to figure it out for myself. So I've got rid of those up there, got rid of the ones down here and the ones here. So these ones will come out. Now, as you can see, these are fairly loose. There is one like that one, as you can see, spin it round, is very loose. So this has just come out. Now, these normally have been pinned in, as you can see there. Um, so they're just the spaces that sit in there. And what I've been having to do is take the bottom one out, and then if you can take the top and sort of bend it, it's been releasing that one as well. Um, but obviously in this case, I can easily access them to uh, to get them removed. So first job's that. Uh, then uh, what's happened is it's revealed screws to actually remove the base rail and the and we can get to the handrail as you can see here uh, there so we can get them removed make it easier for sanding i'm going to leave the new post in place if i can and um, sand them down and um, again as you can see that's been sanded and that one hasn't um so yeah time to get cracking let's get it done this is going to be part one a um, bit of a longer drawn out process, but I'll get the spindles removed and uh, then we'll look to get part two going, sanding it, what I'm doing, what I'm using and so on. So we'll uh, probably leave this video here. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll get these removed.